What makes a good learner? So a good learner does three things. First, they know how to formulate a problem and create a hypothesis. Second, they can identify relevant resources. And then lastly, they are able to choose and create an evaluation process. So let's look at formulate a problem. In formulating a problem, you're going to figure out what you believe is wrong and where you think there's a lack of information. This can also be created in the form of an hypothesis. Then you're going to discover what you already know. Put this into context, the problem against what is known and what is not. This is called the information gap. This gap is between the knowledge that you know and the knowledge you need to gather. It's essential to also describe how things should work and look at any financial costs associated with that learning. And the answer then is going to be identified. Lastly, identify why it matters. Why does it matter to you and why does it matter to someone else? It could be something as simple as maybe the information is simply gratifying to your interests. And there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Next, you're going to identify relevant sources, and this really could be a lengthy topic, especially when you start to identify valid and reliable sources. It's important that a research dives into the validity and the reliability of each source that's used. And some sources are going to be considered better than others. For instance, it would be better to rely on information from the cancer research from the Mayo Clinic website than it would be to look through the personal journal of Aunt Jenny. Well, unless, of course, Aunt Jenny's a cancer researcher. Also, don't forget about the following four sources. You can look at books, how about articles in journals, magazines, scholarly journals, and even professional journals, newspapers, library databases, and websites. And then I really love that there's this great opportunity to look at more sources. And this resource is actually at the end of an article. So glide to the end of your article and read through the sources that have been cited or the bibliographies, and you're going to be able to find information. So this is my favorite tip. After I read an article, I go to the sources cited at the end and highlight any relevant resources and then I'll read through those. So lastly, choose and create some kind of evaluation process. You want to be able to prove that you've really learned what you've learned and there are many varying evaluation processes that can be used in determining the best methods and determining what is a good solution. There are four main types of evaluation processes, your impact, your outcome, and summative. But what we really want to do is look and see what you can do and what is the point of reporting. Why do you want to really report back and assess what you have learned? And that's going to be the most important thing. If it's for your personal development, maybe it's more that you have a list of notes that are information, or maybe you need to prove that you know the information in the form of a PowerPoint, but you get to choose.